the voice before the void dot net one line joke gregoria and para prestokian from wikipedia read by the voice before the void one line joke a one liner is a joke that is delivered in a single line a good one liner is said to be pithy Comedians and actors use this comedic method as part of their act. For example, Rodney Dangerfield, Bruce Campbell, Groucho Marx, Jay London, Stephen Wright, Emo Phillips, Tommy Cooper, Ken Dodd, Mark Lynn Baker, Henny Youngman, Mitch Hedberg, Dan Mintz, Zach Galifianakis, Dimitri Martin, Jimmy Carr, Anthony Jeselnik, Tim Vine, Milton Jones, Stuart Francis, and so on. Many fictional characters are also known to deliver one-liners, including James Bond, who usually includes short and witty quips after disposing of a villain. Examples. A baby seal walks into a club. A dyslexic man walks into a bra. George Carlin. I have nothing to declare except my genius. Oscar Wilde, upon arriving at U.S. Customs, 1882. Race is just a pigment of the imagination. Glen Highland. Venison's deer, isn't it? Jimmy Carr. Take my wife. Please. Henny Youngman. Gregoria. A gregoria is a short statement, usually one sentence, in which the author expresses a philosophical, pragmatic, or humorous idea in a witty and original way. A gregoria is roughly similar to an aphorism or a one-liner joke in comedy. It is a rhetorical and stylistic device used in Spanish and Latin American literature. History. Ramon Gomez de la Serna is considered the father of the Gregoria, which he defined as humor plus metaphor. Gomez de la Serna first used the Gregoria in about 1910. Examples by Ramon Gomez de la Serna El par de huevos que nos tomamos parece que son gemelos, y no son ni primos terceros. The couple of eggs we eat look like identical twins, and they're not even third cousins. El pavo real es un mito jubilado. The peacock is a retired myth. Las puertas se enfadan con el viento. Doors get angry with the wind. Paraprestokian. A paraprestokian is a figure of speech in which the latter part of a sentence, phrase, or larger discourse is surprising or unexpected in a way that causes the reader or listener to reframe or reinterpret the first part. It is frequently used for humorous or dramatic effect, sometimes producing an anticlimax. For this reason, it is extremely popular among comedians and satirists. Some parprestokians not only change the meaning of an early phrase, but they also play on the double meaning of a particular word, creating a form of solipses. Etymology Parprestokian comes from Greek para, meaning against, and prostokia, meaning expectation. The term prestokia, expectation, occurs with the preposition para in Greek rhetorical writers of the first century before Christian era and the first and second centuries Christian era with the meaning contrary to expectation or unexpectedly. These four sources are cited under prestokia in Little Scott Jones' Greek lexicon. Canadian linguist and etymology author William Gordon Castleman argues that 
While the word is now in wide circulation, paraprostokian, or paraprostokia, is not a term of classical or medieval Greek or Latin rhetoric, but a late 20th century neologism, citing the fact that the word does not yet appear in the Oxford English Dictionary as evidence of its late coinage. However, the word appeared in print as early as 1891 in a humorous article in Punch magazine. Examples He was at his best when the going was good. Alistair Cook on the Duke of Windsor There but for the grace of God goes God. Winston Churchill If I could just say a few words, I'd be a better public speaker. Homer Simpson If I am reading this graph correctly, I'd be very surprised. Stephen Colbert You can always count on the Americans to do the right thing, after they have tried everything else. Winston Churchill On his feet he wore blisters. Aristotle I've had a perfectly wonderful evening, but this wasn't it. Groucho Marx A modest man who has much to be modest about. Supposedly Winston Churchill about Clement Attlee. I like going to the park and watching the children run around because they don't know I'm using blanks. Emo Phillips I haven't slept for ten days because that would be too long. Mitch Hedberg I sleep eight hours a day and at least ten at night. Bill Hicks I don't belong to an organized political party. I'm a Democrat. Will Rogers On the other hand, you have different fingers. Stephen Wright This sound file and all text in the articles are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org.